Hi everyone, welcome back. If you want to support what I'm doing, please press like and subscribe. Looking at how do I get three points and show using a vector method that it forms a right angle triangle. Now it's very easy once you're comfortable with it and look at it, you can just do the question very quickly. But I still think I need to show a diagram and get people to understand what's actually happening. I've only done positive numbers, I don't need to go negatives. I want you to just understand the concept with positives. So I've got 1, 2, so A would be about there. B is 5, 1, so 5, 1 would be about there. And C is 6, 5, trying to do it accurate on the whiteboard, it's hard to do. And I've got that there. Now if I had a ruler, I could draw that up neatly. I think that's reasonable. And you can see that's probably a right angle there. So to get to show that that's a right angle, I've only got the three points. I've got the coordinates of the three points. I don't have the vectors. So I need the vector AB that meets in right angles with the vector VC. So how do I get vector AB? Well, if I go really slow, you're going to go A back to the origin. I'm going to do this a long way for the first time. So we want vector AB. So if you don't really know what you're doing on this, let's go back to the basics. I'm going to go from A back to the origin. And then once I go back to the origin, then I've got to go from the origin across to B. Let's have a look what happened there. Now, one of the little things you can talk about that, OA would be 1, 2. So we're doing the opposite of OA. So we're actually doing the opposite of OA. So I could write that as the minus of OA. Instead of writing AR, I'm going to write this the minus of it. If that works for your brain, then some people need to think that way. Let's have a look at what it means. I'm going to write it with I's and J's. So that's a minus of that. So it's minus I minus 2J. So if that makes sense to your brain if you write it that way. And then to go from origin over to B, I've got that one there. So I've got 5I plus J. Let's just collect like terms. So I've got a minus I plus a 5I is 4I. I've got a minus 2J plus a J is a minus J. Now, here's what I prefer to do. Instead of looking at all that, I just go, how far is it from 1 to 5? I've gone up 4. How far it is from 2 to 1? I've gone down 1. So if that works for your brain, you can, instead of writing all this out, you can just look at it and go, what's happened? I've gone up 4, so that's a 4I. I've gone down 1, so that's minus J. And it does work in 3D and everything else you need it to work in. Now on the line of that, we need BC. So how do I get BC? I'm going to go up 1, so that's I. And I'm going to go up 4, so that's 4J. And how do you show that any two vectors anywhere are perpendicular to each other? We use the dot product. And if the dot product is 0, it means they're perpendicular to each other. So we want the dot product between these two. I prefer to write that as 4 minus 1. Then I don't have to write the i's and the j's. And I'm doing a dot product, not a cross product. That can later. And we've got a 1, 4. And how do I multiply two vectors? 4 ones are 4. And minus 1 by 4 is minus 4. And if you want to look at previous videos, I explained a bit about that. And you get 0. So what do we say now? We have two of oh, the lines A, B. And... I shouldn't say lines, the vectors A, B and, and B, C are perpendicular. So what does it mean when two of them perpendicular with three points? It means therefore we have a right angle triangle. Question's done.